All right, what is happening, everyone? Welcome back to another action-packed edition of the Another 71 podcast. As always, I'm your humble host, Jeff Elliott, a licensed CPA in the state of Kansas by the grace of God and to the chagrin of many, and the number is growing daily. I assure you today is Tuesday, December 6, 2022. Welcome to episode 104. If you have a question, I have an answer. Hopefully it is a good one. You can shoot me an email, jeff at another71.com. That's jeff at another71.com. We are live in the dojo today. So um, I'll be answering, <clears throat> I'm going to do seven questions in this session uh, previously submitted, and I'll be answering questions in the dojo chat. Kyle asks, what sections are am I going to be talking about? Um, all of them. These are just um, questions that people have submitted. These are study strategy questions. And uh, Reza, hi Jeff, how are you? Just want to know about the BEC study strategy. Uh, yeah, tell me more about how many weeks you're looking at and what your uh, main question is there. And I'll answer that. Um, in the meantime, starting things off with Steve. Steve is using Becker plus Ninja. Hi, Jeff. I hope all is well with you. I received my score for FAR today, 42. I also recently took audit a couple of days ago. I have an active NTS for regulation, which I plan to take in January. However, should I retake FAR in January instead or move on to reg or maybe just take a break? Also, I began working full-time as a tax associate for a public accounting firm. Hope this is clear. Any advice is appreciated. All right. 42 on FAR. Also took audit. And and so the question is sorry, someone someone's audio was in my deal. <laughs> that threw me off. Um so basically, do you retake FAR after a 42 or do you move on? And I don't think it matters because you are going to have to, I mean, especially with the 42, there's probably not a lot of a solid foundation to build on there. <laughs> so if it were me, I would retake FAR. And um, I mean, even if it was your first time or you know, even if, if, if you scored a 70, I would retake FAR just because I think it's a good idea to get FAR out of the way. Now, in the first half of 2023, I think you should take FAR first. Second half of 2023, I think you should take auditing or BEC first. So, um, yeah. So take FAR and then move on to regulation. And then, of course, studying as a tax, starting as a tax associate for a public accounting firm in January, um, you know, tax season plus CPA exam study is its own beast, but there's really no reason why you still can't study for 20 hours a week during tax season. I mean, um, because, you know, as people in tax always know that it's always tax season, <laughs> kind of, it's, it's January through April. And then, uh, then you have your extensions. And then you have, um, like, then you have October, September, and October come around. Then November and December, you're gearing up for tax season. So it's always tax season. So hope that's helpful. Um, if you're in the dojo, you can raise your hand. And I will unmute you, and we can talk for reals. And then Reza says, I have a, about a month before I take BEC. Um, how far into it are, are you? So tell me that. I mean, where are you? I mean, are you just starting today? Because that's different than if you're two weeks in. Moving on. Nilak. I'm sure I butchered that name using Roger plus Ninja. Hi, Jeff. Good afternoon. I'm taking FAR in March. I'm using Roger plus Ninja. I'm struggling with the material. I've been listening to 
the Ninja Audio for a week, along with Roger, I can retain anything. I think he means I can't retain anything. What would be your advice? Getting my CPA is the goal. Yeah, so listen to the, to the Ninja Audio from day one, even though you're listening to things that you haven't even studied. The more, the more times that you listen to it, the bigger benefit you'll have on the on exam day. I recommend listening to the Ninja Audio at least once a week. And like, even if you haven't studied bonds yet, by listening to the audio uh, prior to studying it, when you actually do study it, I think it's easier to absorb the, the material. So start Ninja Audio from day one, start Ninja Notes from day one, like read through, listen to the Ninja Audio and read the Ninja Notes as many times as possible leading up to your exam. Now you're using Roger and Ninja. So the Ninja framework, nail it, nail it concepts, intense notes, nonstop MCQ, just to rewrite your notes. It all comes together. I would, uh, Roger is a very good lecturer and instructor. <clears throat> I think he's among the best. Um, so I would use, I would nail the concepts with your Roger lectures. I would take intense notes over those lectures. I would switch to Ninja MCQ and um do the nonstop MCQ phase with only Ninja MCQ. When you're studying the simulation portion, I would do probably do 90% um, MCQ, 10% Sims, um, max 80 to 20, um, relatively speaking. I would bounce back and forth between your Ninja Sims and your Roger Sims. Um, uh, U, U World has a very good interface. They put a lot of money into their platform. So take advantage of that uh, simulation software. And then just rewrite your notes. I would either rewrite the notes that you took from Roger or I would rewrite the Ninja notes. Most people rewrite the Ninja notes. And then it all comes together. This is where your cram. Since you already did the Roger videos, then I would do the Ninja cram. And, and then any, any of the topics that you're struggling with, I would do a uh, Ninja sparring session over that topic. Hope that's helpful. Reza says, I just completed BEC chapter one. So you're a month out and you're basically just started. <clears throat> um, there is a four week study planner um, for Ninja. So we have seven week study planner and a uh, four week study planner. And that's what I would do. So four weeks, I mean, uh, you can definitely take BEC in four weeks. Uh, BEC and audit, those are exams that you can take in four weeks. It's not the easiest, but um, you know, regulation and FAR, I would say not, but I passed, well, I passed auditing in 20 days, mostly because I procrastinated and BEC is similar to audit in that regard. So um, just follow the Ninja framework. It's just more, it's just accelerated. So uh, the other concepts for a week, Take intense notes, non-step MCQ for two weeks. And then you probably don't have time to rewrite your notes, or maybe you can spend like a weekend doing it, like a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then I would watch the BEC cram, particularly over the cost accounting. Ninja Mike, he's exceptional in all areas. He is exceptionally exceptional in the cost accounting he scored like top five in the world on the CMA. Like <laughs> he is, he's legit. And so especially the CMA, the CMA type topics like cost accounting, definitely um, watch those in the cram. Carolyn writes in, Hey Jeff, I need a bit of advice. I didn't have a score. I didn't have a score release this past time. I, but I've passed BEC and auditing third try after studying, after incorporating Ninja into my study routine, three down, one to go. This last one has given me a run for my money and sanity. So we're talking about, okay, past BEC and auditing. I got overconfident and bought FAR and auditing simultane simultaneously, talking about an NTS. Thing I'd pass auditing my second go around and start studying for FAR in August. I didn't pass auditing. And then I decided to keep studying for the third time, but I gave myself much less study time for FAR. I didn't start studying for FAR until the first week of October. My exam, my NTS expires mid-December. 
I'm not even close to getting through the material. I feel very unsure about the material. I've gone through thus far with the exam approaching so quickly. I feel like I'm just trying to get through as much as possible, but not absorbing it as I did with the other exams. Should I sit for the exam in December, call it a fail, and take it when I feel confident? I'm already planning on retaking it in February. I have until June before BEC expires. My ultimate goal is to pass far before then. <clears throat> um, if you If you suggest that I take it, how should I cram? What should I focus on? Uh, well, if you're in a situation where you have an NTS expiring, it happens. It happens to the best of us. It happened to me. Most <clears throat> because I was I procrastinated. I would still take your exam. Now, uh, one way to have a fighting chance on exam day is um, I would definitely watch the Ninja Cram over FAR. And I think it's like, 20 hours give or take and i mean you can knock that out knock that out sound like i was from minnesota you can <laughs> you can knock that out in like a long weekend a friday saturday sunday and go take it on monday i mean it's kind of a yolo hail mary but you can watch the ninja cram like I would take off work on Friday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and go in and take your exam Monday. Um, do you stand a high chance of passing? I don't know. Not as high as if you had like done like a seven week study regimen, but um, you definitely have a fighting chance. So I would, I would definitely take far, and I would definitely watch um, the Ninja Cram over a long weekend, and you can apply that to any exam. Um, that's why we did the Ninja Cram. So I hope that's helpful. Going back to the dojo chat, Kyle says, I'm taking BEC on Thursday and using Wiley as my primary source. Wiley includes at least three times as much material on IT as Ninja. And I'm wondering if Wiley is making me waste too much time in IT. I made it through all the material and feel like IT is my weakest point. If it were me, I would study the ninja notes over it and hammer the um, ninja mcq and maybe the wiley test bank over it and that's what i would do for it because it it's like not real conceptual you just got to cram the stuff into your brain and barf it out on exam day and so um that's what i would do um and I would rework all of the IT questions that you can like the afternoon before your exam. So it's fresh in your mind. So Ninja Notes and IT MCQ, and that's what I would, I would call that good on um, for IT. And, you know, maybe watch, maybe watch the Ninja Cram over IT. I'm trying to think, is there a Ninja Cram over IT? I assume so. <laughs> I haven't looked lately. Um, and, uh, so that's what I would do for IT, like the videos and the books. I would just punt and do Ninja Notes and Ninja MCQ over IT. Sticking with the Dojo chat, currently employed with a corporation in India and um, get my CPA license. I would like to move and work in the US. Any advice or tips I would, I would ask Ninja Mike that. So Ninja Mike, he, he lives in India and he is a big four alum. He works for a big four firm and he knows all about that stuff um, as it relates to India specifically. <clears throat> and so I would, I would jump into your sparring session and when he has the Q and A, that's, that's what I would ask him or submit it as a, as, a, as a question and he can answer it in a video. So um, he would be the expert on that. Um, Cassie, Cassie says, hi Jeff, I set for the exam about eight times so far and I haven't passed any. Um, my last two scores are 72 and 74. All right, we're close. I stopped studying, I stopped studying for the past year I'd like to restart studying and 
complete my exams by the end of next year. Um, any advice on how to schedule my exams and how to use Ninja in combination with Roger or Wiley? Well, you know, the bad news is you're taking the exam eight times, but there's a lot of people who take the exam like as many. I mean, that's that's essentially like failing each section twice. So a lot of people do it. No one wants to admit it. You can all go on another 71 and read my story. And, uh, but, you know, your last two scores are 72 and 74. That means that you know how to study. And it just means that some things need to be tweaked. And um, so passing the CPA exam in 2023, wonderful idea. So you can avoid that 2024 mess. And I would... I would just start start with VAR. I would start with VAR and then auditing and then BEC. Normally, I'd, I'd say regulation, but BEC is, is ending at the end of 2023. So I definitely make sure you get auditing and BEC passed, but I would start with VAR early in the year. And then I would take regulation last. And uh, so that's what, that's what I would do. Now, as far as com combining Roger and Wiley or Roger Wiley and Ninja, um, I would just pick, I would pick Roger and Ninja or Wiley and Ninja and go with the one that you like the most. If you, if you go with Roger, then I would use Roger lectures, take notes. So nail the concepts with Roger lectures, take intense notes, non-step MCQ using uh, Ninja MCQ and back and forth between the Ninja and Roger U World Sims just rewrite the ninja notes and then all comes together. I would do the, the ninja cram. So that's how I would do Roger plus ninja. And, um, now with Wiley, I don't know their instructors actually hardly at all. Um, and so pick and choose, which if you, if you go with Wiley and ninja, then I would choose, um, which, which instructors or which uh, lectures you want to use ninja sparring or the Wiley lectures, Take intense notes, balance up MCQ, um, bounce back and forth between Ninja MCQ and the Wiley CPA test bank. Um, just rewrite the Ninja notes and all comes together using the um, Ninja cram. All the while using the Ninja audio, listening to the Ninja audio as many times as you can. So. All right, if you're in the dojo chat and you want to uh, talk, you can raise your hand and I'll unmute you. A few more questions here. Shlomo says, I've been, I'm, I've been unable to keep Becker's pace and I've fallen behind. I'm in chapter three of Becker. My chances of passing are low given where I am and my test date is in December. Should I learn whatever I can slowly so that I have a clue if I retake or just read the notes, save the MCQs for the last few days, essentially a cram. Can the Ninja Cram videos followed by Ninja MCQs get me to, to, to a decent place? The Becker Sims have been my biggest obstacle to moving on to new topics. Um, let me pause there. They shouldn't be. I mean, um, you shouldn't you shouldn't do the uh, you should like set aside a day or a weekend to do Sims. Don't do Sims. Well, you should not be doing questions after each chapter. That's not the Ninja framework. The Ninja framework is getting through all the concepts first. And taking notes and then like closing the book and then doing ninja mcq or becker mcq and i would focus on the, the mcq and only do the sims like over a weekend or something so don't let the sims trip you up like part of the success on the cpa exam is just keeping on going part of the part of your success on exam day is keep on going if you get tripped up if you, if you like spend 10 minutes answering a question that you can't get to work out for you, you're going to fail. <clears throat> so the Becker Sims have been my business, biz, the biggest obstacle to moving on to new topics. I generally do well between seventies and eighties on the MCQ. The first time I'm bummed because busy season is coming again. And the biggest opportunity to study is the, is these weeks. I can't push the exam because I have a trip planned for late December. I follow Becker study plan, but I keep falling behind. I learned best by writing, over their lectures and doing MCQs right away. That way, some of the info sticks in my head. I learn better from videos and books. Um, so, using Becker plus Ninja, 
I would um, watch the Becker videos, take notes. So, but you, you only have a few days, so you're really in a in a cram in a a, a cram formation, um, and uh, and so I would I would I mean if you can't push your exam out, then I would um, hammer MCQ. Hammer Ninja MCQ, rewrite your Ninja notes, listen to the Ninja audio every chance that you get, like in the car, at your desk. And I know it's not the most fun thing in the world to listen to, but you can listen to your Spotify, Spotify, your Spotify playlist on your trip after your exam. And I would watch the Ninja Cram. And if you want to hammer, like, Pick three to five topics that you hope that you don't get any simulations on and work those in your Becker test bank. That's what I would do. And uh, so, yeah. Rajat says, please recommend the best CPA study plan possible to score maximum and crack this exam within seven weeks. I am studying full-time. I've always been weak in sims. Everyone is. I watch lectures, read books, and do MCQ and sims. And they're using Ninja only. Well, if you're studying full-time, then I think seven weeks is probably too much. So your seven-week study plan, studying full-time, should actually probably be um, four weeks. And I'd study like 30 hours a week, treat it like a full-time job, leave your house every day, physically leave, go to the library, coffee shop, make sure the two get out of the house. That way it feels like you're, you are leaving. Cause if you sit on your couch, the same place that you, you know, have been binge watching <clears throat> the uh, terminal list. Good show, by the way. <clears throat> then your brain's not going to be in study mode. Your brain's like, oh, we're watching Terminal List again, or we're watching Breaking Bad for the 10th time. Um, no, you're in exam mode, study mode. So when you're studying full-time, leave your house. Every day, <clears throat> no exceptions, maybe on a Saturday. So, but study full-time, you should, you should be, I mean, 30 hours a week, 120 hours, get in there, take that exam. That's it. You're still in the chat. If you want to raise your hand, we can talk. Pat says, I got a 56 on FAR mid-November. I'm trying to gain the last 19 points by supplementing with Ninja. I was weaker in everything, MCQ and Sims, because um, in every section, governmental, not-for-profit, which I spent a good amount of time on before the exam. I'm trying Ninja because I hated how my memory would know the answer. So it's referring to memorizing um, your main courses questions. I would click the correct, an correct answer on the second or third time instead of learning the material on why I was incorrect. Okay, so got a 56 on FAR, how to gain 19 points. No pressure. Um, using Pat's using Becker plus Ninja. Well, it's it's following it's 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 as simple as following the ninja framework. Um, and there's there's two main things you can do that you probably didn't do before. Um, so nail the concepts with your Becker lectures, take intense notes, do non-sub MCQ with your ninja MCQ. I would not move, I would not do your Becker questions anymore because you've memorized them. I would only use the Becker text bank for the simulations. You can Switch back and forth between Ninja Sims and Becker Sims, uh, whichever ones you like the best. Do not do a practice exam. exam. I hate practice exams. Um, ironically, we have unlimited practice exams with Ninja. Only because people would ask, why don't we have practice exams? Not a fan of practice exams. <laughs> um, because they don't tell you anything. And it's a waste of time. And... Not sub MCQ 
with Ninja MTQ, just rewrite your notes. I would rewrite the, so I would rewrite the Ninja notes. So it's something that you obviously previously didn't do the time before. Rewrite your Ninja notes. It takes like three days. It's long. It's awful. Um, it'll be worth it. Listen to the Ninja audio as many times as possible. Um, granted, it's like the Ninja notes. It's long. It's awful. <laughs> it's worth it. And and then um, since you're probably already used to the Becker lectures, then I would watch the Ninja Cram, Ninja Mike. So goes through so this is far it's like 20 hours ninja mike walks through um the material like from a journal entry perspective using excel and it's all on video and people really like it so that's what i would do that's how you gain your 19 points <clears throat> um final question if you're in the if you're in the dojo chat, your last chance to ask a question or raise your hand. Carmelo writes in, I like Ninja so far, and I plan on using only Ninja to save for the CP exam. I'm starting with FAR first. What order do you suggest I do when completing the exams? All right. So for 2023, 2023 is pretty unique. So for the 2023 CPA exam, I would do, if an exam is January through June, then I would do FAR first, auditing second, that's like any other year, and, and then June through December, I would do BEC first, then regulation. And the reason for that is auditing is going to become a nightmare and BEC is going away. If you pass BEC in 2023, then you don't have to take the discipline sections, the uh, the BAR, the BAR, um, which is a lot of the stuff that you don't like from FAR, plus some of the stuff that you don't like from BEC. They had a baby. They called it BAR. Um, they met at a bar. No. Um, and then uh, TCP, which is the tax one. And uh, if I were taking the discipline, if I were taking a discipline section, I would take the tax one just because um, I I'm weird and I like tax. It was my highest score on the exam regulation. And um, the IT thing looks nasty. No, thank you. Um, unfortunately, we have to create materials for it. <laughs> um, but Ninja Mike is in charge of all that. And uh, and so I would take FAR, then auditing, then BEC and regulation. Now, if you're starting in the second half of 2023, then I would start with auditing, then BEC, because auditing is going to be a nightmare. BEC is going away. Then I would take regulation, and then I would take FAR. Why? Because in 2024... FAR loses, FAR is not gaining any, gaining any content and it's losing some of its components. Uh, FAR is going to become easier. Now there's never an, an easy exam, but FAR is going to become easier in 2024. So if you're going to take a 2024 exam, then let it be FAR or REG. But uh, so that's some... Uh, that is the order of the CPA exam that I would take in um, 2023. So, all right. Well, thanks everyone for, um, for listening, watching, chatting. If you have a question, you can shoot me an email, jeff at another71.com. That's jeff at another71.com. All right, be good, everyone. Take care, and I will talk to you.